I predicted that the C46 was going to be around for a long time and I could make a career out of this. And so I concluded that if I stay on the 46, I'm going to have a job till I retire. 30 years later, I'm still here. My name is uh, Captain Jeff Schroeder. I'm from Winnipeg originally. Getting close to 23,000 hours on the C46 alone. So quite a bit of years there since 1986. Captain on it since 1989. Envision a Harley Davidson with 10 times more sound and vibration. And like to this day, you know, I've been on the airplane for 30 plus years already. And I love taking off. The, the sound, the vibration goes right through your body. You know, you're pulling 52 inches manifold pressure, 2700 RPM. The, the, the blades are spinning at supersonic. The sound that's coming from there, you know, it, it, other than you experiencing it, it's hard to, to describe it. It still gets me excited to this day. Well, right now, we got quite a, quite a very a great crew right now. First officer, Jamie, is one of our female co-pilots. She loves it. She always asks me, you know, when can I go flying? You know, she loves flying the airplane. She pulls her weight just like any, you know, is, we're all the same. You know, if you're a C-46, you're C-46. I love flying with Schroeder. Um, ever since I've got here, which is two years ago, for two and a half years ago, I got about probably a good couple hundred hours with him. Um, and every captain's different, but I, I do enjoy flying with Schroeder the most. He's, uh, he always keeps your, keeps you on your toes. You know, if you feel good that day or not, you know, you gotta load, we gotta load, because it's all manual. There's no pressing buttons. It's all big levers and moving things and loading and fueling and oiling. Will is another uh, one of our C-46 co-pilots. He's fairly new to us. He actually came to us, uh, was working on a project. They were preparing a DC-3 that had been parked for many, many years. And he worked on that. He came up and he saw the 46, as far as I know, and he, I think he loves it. And I saw it in anger and was like, I was used to see the DC-3 and stuff when we were in Montreal, but the first time I saw that, I was like, oh, wow, that's pretty big. <laughs> and yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a big plane for sure. Big, big, big. It's, it's, it's just impressive to see it first, like the shape of it. That, the first time you see it, you're not sure if you like it, don't like it. But it's, no, it's a, it's a weird mix, yeah. What do you think of it now after flying it? Oh, I loved it. Oh, yeah. I, I find it beautiful, too. Like, especially, you know, like, it's airborne, gear up, like, it's in a turn. Like, you're like, oh, wow. Or coming, when it's coming, like, facing you. No, it's, I really like flying that thing. I had an application come across my desk, a resume, and I noticed the name of Klauschuk. Got on the phone and I called him up and I said, blah, blah, are you Gary's son? Yeah, I said, well, I said, wow. I said, this is excellent. I said, you're second generation. First time I heard of a 46, well, I was probably five, six years old. Uh, I was just a little guy. You know, he's told me point blank, right? His dad has told him lots of stories about the C-46. Africa, getting shot at and all, all the excitement. I received a phone call and two days after that, I was up in Yellowknife and been here ever since. Hi, Mike. How cold is this, Schroeder? Oh, she's cold. Everything's frozen. It's cold today. It's got to be one of the coldest days of the year, if not for many, many, many years. So then when talking with uh, Kane, it was like, okay, yeah, hey, you know what, you're perfect. I'd love to train you. Come on up. And I couldn't get him up here fast enough. Hey, Kane, your mom's going to be asking, where's your jacket? Where's Larry, your... Let's get I the know. German going, guys. Put it away. Pass my jacket. You don't throw away something that's good. And the C-46, provided that we still have parts, which I don't believe is a shortage of, uh, the engines are an overhauled item. So there's nothing, the propellers are overhauled. Uh, so the supply in the, the, uh, is still there. So the C-46, you know, you can't, why would you retire the C-46? I've said this also for 30 years. The only reason a C-46 will be retired is because we we'll, won't have uh, somebody to take my place. Uh, there won't be somebody else to follow my footsteps. You know, they may have chosen to go another airline, but if we can still produce captains, we're still gonna have the C-46 and possibly we can, we can tune into this video in 30 years from now. I bet you the C-46 is still going to be flying strong. <laughs>